Hello everyone, it is Craig here and I'm going to show you today how to put together a bulk import CSV file. Why would you want to do this? So the best reason for this is to save you time and just also to keep things organized. So what you can do is every row of a spreadsheet can be converted into a social media post. And we're going to show you how to set that up today um, within our software, Socialmonials. We're also going to show you some tips on how to create this automated content um, that gets posted within your CSV. So we have a lot to get through, so I'm going to jump in. Here is an example of a single month of posts with one post going out per day. So this is what I'm going to show you how to set up. First thing you want to do is head over to Socialmonials and go to the Import tab. From here, you can download an example file. So this file will basically become your template. What this is, is that template that's already been filled in. So when, when I'm going through and doing this, what I like to do is start with the timing. If I know I'm going to be doing a post today, I'll just get this filled in. That way I know which day of the week I'm writing to or I'm creating content for. So there's a couple tricks within um, Google Sheets. If you just want to take five, which is the month, this is a May CSV post, by the way. So what I'm going to do is take this five and just drag that corner down, and that creates fives all the way down. So you could do this for the first 30 cells, and you're done. Another thing you could do if you want to create one day for, um, uh, you know, one post per day, th that would be one, two, three, meaning May 1st, 2022. So one thing you could do to save a little bit of time is just say one and then two, and Google is smart enough to create a series. So just select the first two and drag it down 30 cells, and it automatically increments that for you all the way up to 30. And same thing for 2022, you just have to type that once and drag it all the way down um, to 30 rows deep, and you'll have everything set up for the timing at least for the first 30 posts. The next thing I wanna show you is the hour. So you'll notice that nine is nine o'clock. Um, we also have um, like 12 o'clock. If you wanted to say one o'clock PM, you would say 13, because it's in military time. And if you're wondering how we figured out like when to post these, for ours, because this is the CSV that we share with all of our agency CRM clients, um, we used a more generic time approach. We have researched like what are the best times to post for social media for each of the different days of the week. Um, but what I recommend you do for your account, you can actually go into your dashboard and go check out your report on optimal times. And the way you do this is, first of all, clear all the days of the week, because we're gonna do this one at a time. You're gonna wanna select all the networks that you plan to post to. So if you're gonna post to all of them, you would leave all of these selected. Now go through one day at a time. May 1st is actually a Sunday. So I'm gonna check Sunday, and it's gonna tell me the best time, which is 3 a.m. These are some backup times, which aren't really important to us for this um, exercise. So 3 a.m. is what I would want to choose here. And when it's time to go check out Sun or Monday, I'm going to deselect this and check Monday. Our software will go out and analyze all of your Monday posts and determine that 11 p.m. is the best time to post on a Monday. So you're going to repeat that process all the way through the days of the week and finish the first seven rows here, and then you can just repeat them. Then you would just copy five, six, seven, the first seven days, and then you can just go on and paste down below, and it will paste those optimal times for each day of the week. Since we're starting Sunday here, it would just start Sunday here, and those would repeat every single week. The next step is to actually create your content. I like to start with images and then work from there, but there are other ways of doing it. You could start with a message, and then go find images that um, match your and support your message. Um, but for us, the types of posts that we're doing are really heavy on imagery. We're posting memes and things like that. So our text actually supported those memes um, and framed them, gave them some reference, and also added some hashtags so we would get some um, search visibility within the social media networks. 
So it's different for everybody, but this is the way we do it. So I wanted to show you um, how we do it. So what I do, when I start with content, what I do is find all of my images and I do a mass personalization. Like our memes um, are created by creating a nice looking background. And then I use um, Robali to create automated images. So as you can see, like this is an image in the background with some text in the front. Um, you can create a template like this using Robali and import the text and it will actually merge the text over the background. So my team is able to go out and research like really cool inspirational texts um, from different famous people over the years and create a Google spreadsheet. And what I like about Robali uh, versus some of the other tools we've used in the past, it integrates with Google Sheets. So you're able to just create a whole list of um, inspirational uh, pieces of text and background images, and it will automatically merge those and create image files for you. There's one other step you have to do if you're using Robali or if you just want to create your own images um, using Photoshop or some other tool or Canva, and you've got a whole list of these images. What I recommend people do, go back to the import utility here on Socialmonials, and we have a link to a free service that allows you to drag images and have them hosted. So here's some of our memes. I'm gonna drag these over and what'll happen is it will import them. They will host those images and generate URLs for them, which is what's required for all of these bulk import tools like Socialmonials. So there's a couple things you need to do before you just copy and paste these. Make sure direct link is selected and once you do that, you just simply copy, let's say you have 100 of them, you would copy all 100 and paste it into your Google Sheets. If the um, day of the week isn't important, you could literally paste that into your spreadsheet and just use the first 30 of them for your 30 days of posting that we're doing today. And by the way, you can actually post up to 365 in one import. So you could just sit down at one point or have your virtual assistant sit down and just create all 365 days of content. So you've got a whole year set up with one post per day. So this is where those image URLs would go. Paste these here. We generally don't use videos, but if you have videos hosted somewhere, make sure you use the direct link to those video files. Um, but we tend to just use image URLs with our routine bulk imports. Um, the next step after you have your images is to go through and write your copy. So within messages, the only tip I would give you here is if you want to have these really nice um, line breaks, the way to do that is um, click within the text. So I'm going to show you down below on a fresh row. So just click here, then click up here in the um, typing area. And you would say one, I'm going to hold down the control on my Mac, the control key, and then hit enter, and then enter again. And notice what's happening down below. Per, I'm gonna hold down control and hit enter, enter, line. So what's happening is we're creating um, line breaks within the one cell, because you only get one cell per post. So now when I hit enter, I have the one row, it's one post, and I got a really nice line break here. Um, I believe the key is different on a PC. Um, sorry, I don't have that off the top of my head. Um, but for Mac users, it's control enter. And once you have all of your text written here, what I'll do then is I will jump over to the most right column. Let me delete my sample here. And that's pin title. So if you're uploading these to Pinterest as well, might as well create a nice pin title because that's what's gonna be showing uh, most prominently. Um, to frame your image. Um, generally what we do is we just have a condensed version of our message. So we'll find the most important words because you don't want to use too long of a pin title. So you're going to want to just condense that down. So instead of you know a really long uh, message here, we'll just kind of shorten that and keep it short and sweet. Um, so that's the next step. And after that, I like to choose the category. So for ours, we upload a a bunch of different kinds of content generally. 
Um, engagement and inspirational are what we use for this type of post. Um, so engagement um, posts are basically, um, that's what we call posts where we're trying to get people to like, comment, and share. Inspirational posts, uh, we have a separate category for those because those are mainly meant, you know, just kind of like for feel good and within the, the news feed. Inspirational posts are also good for sharing. So engagement mainly are gonna get you some comments. Um, and if you really wanna get people to share and get other, um, other people to see your posts and possibly comment on your posts as well within the other feeds, uh, inspirational um, are great at increasing the amount of shares that you get. So that is how this all works. Um, I would wanna note a couple things here. If you don't want, like let's say you're gonna create the same category for every single post, you don't need to fill this in at all. You can leave it blank. And let's say that there are only a couple of them that are inspirational and all the rest of them are engagement. You can tag the inspirational ones and leave the engagement part blank and then assign engagement as the fallback. So it's time to jump in here um, and show you what I'm talking about. So basically um, the category, if it's unspecified, you can actually say, okay, I want anything that's not specified to be engagement. That way you don't need to go through and tag every single post as engagement if the vast majority of them are in fact engagement posts. So once this is looking the way you like, uh, the next step is you need to save this as a CSV. So I'm gonna go to File, Download, and then Comma Separated Values is what CSV stands for. So you're gonna select this, save it locally, and you can immediately jump back over to Socialmonials and I'm gonna refresh the page here because we've been leaving this idle for quite a while. Um, so let's jump back over to import. I'm gonna select the social networks and then I'm gonna drag my CSV that I just downloaded right up here and just make sure that that's the actual name of it. So you make sure you're not uploading the wrong thing and specify your category. I'm gonna fall back on engagement. I tend not to repost my um, CSV imports because we take care to you know specify certain days of the week. Um, so you know I just prefer not to do those and we create enough content where we have fresh content for every day of the year. Um, over here, email me when published. I don't do this just because there's such a high volume. I don't wanna be barraged with emails every time these are published. Um, hold for approval. You can do this um, if you you know, aren't 100% sure that this is, you know, the posts going out are the, just the way you want, or let's say you want to maybe add some things to it later. So you just do a really hasty import of as much information as you have at the moment, have it all held for you. Then you can go into the queue at a later date and it'll be sitting there waiting, mostly completed. Then you can go in and um, do other things like tag people. We're introducing tagging tomorrow is when we go live with that. So by the time you're watching this video, we probably have tagging live. So there might be some other things you wanna to do to um, make your post a little nicer in the future. So you can hold and also trim tweets of too long. I just leave this at the default. The If you deselect trim tweets of too long, um, what'll happen is the post will actually fail if the message that you wrote is too long for Twitter. If it's too long for Twitter and you leave this selected, it's just gonna trim that part of it and it's going to tweet it out just with slightly incomplete message. Um, any links that you put in there, I don't put links in these um, inspirational engagement ones because I'm trying to get in um, feed engagement so I can increase our edge rank and you know we're trying to get a higher reach for our posts. So that's the purpose of our imports. If the purpose of your imports are to drive traffic to your website or your landing pages, then you would absolutely want to include links in this part right here where it says link um, to your landing page. So let's see, I'm gonna jump back in. And that means we're pretty much ready to go. We've got everything situated here. You might wanna give this one glance when you're ready to import, make sure that you have followed all the rules of each one of those column types, and then you can simply add to the queue. And what's gonna happen now is it's gonna import all 30 of those posts, 
and convert them into social posts. So once those are finished importing, they're going to wind up here in the queue folder. You can just scroll down and see how you like them and make any changes you want, but just by clicking on it. So you can change the text any way you like. Um, you can even change the category. Like let's say you don't want engagement. You can change it to something else and that's it. Um, once you look those over and you, you like the way they look, you can just close out the software and they will go out automatically. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us directly and we'll be happy to assist you.